Um, my name is Tanya Brasington, and I serve in various ways here at the harbor. <laughs> I do. Um, so I just want to um, welcome you here this morning. As Sam was saying, this is first Sunday, and so on first Sunday we um, we spend a little family time. We do it a little bit differently. So if you're a visitor today, just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And hopefully you have a birthday or anniversary because you get an extra blessing, which is really nice, which is why I'm up here. Um, I would like all of the people, all of our May babies, to please rise. Please stand up. Okay. So I just want to, um, oh, and can I just mention right now, no, I gave you guys a little bit of a hard time about using the real Bible, and I introduced you to it again last time I was up here. I think it was last time. I showed you what a journal was and a pen. Um, but I'm using my phone today. Out of me, I have it all in my little notes, so it's all of the above, peeps, okay? All of the above. We'll get the real one. All right, so here we go. All right, so I had um, just gonna remind me. I had um, the word hope as well for um, you birthday babies, but and in a, in a different way. The word of God says that um, we have hope in the name of the Lord. That our hope is in the name of the Lord, right? Which is very very true. One of His names that is my absolute favorite is Master of Breakthroughs which is mentioned in Chronicles when David is getting ready to go up to battle. And so, okay, so let me, let me just go to my notes because then I'll, I'll communicate it, I think, um, best. Because here's, here's the first thing that I heard the Holy Spirit say. Number one was hope. Number two was your life represents a breakthrough moment. Your very life, who you are, represents a breakthrough moment. And here's how I first see it. First of all, there was a supernatural breakthrough when God sent Jesus to die for you. For you. So that you could be reconciled. You are a son and daughter. Um, the second way is that as you um, come to that revelation that you are a son or a daughter, breakthrough begins to flow through you. Because you begin to bring heaven to earth because of that redemption, okay? So here's the verse. David asked God, should I go up to fight the Philistines? Will you hand them over to me? The Lord replied, yes, go ahead. I will hand them over to you. So David, I like this part, okay, pay attention. David and his troops, David and his troops, I hope you have some troops, I hope we are your troops. If we're not your troops, I hope you have troops, okay? David and his troops, I'm trying to do this without, <laughs> uh, went up to Baal Perazim and defeated the Philistines there. God did it, David exclaimed. He used me to burst through my enemies like a raging flood. That was a lot of self-control you just saw from me right there. But that, that, okay, 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 I got to go fast. So they named that place Baal Perazim, which means the Lord who bursts through. Okay, so over you, I bless you in the name of Jesus. Okay, those who are around, because I mess this up sometimes. Those who are around the birthday people, if you could come and surround them, we're going to bless them. And we're going to declare over them that they are a son or a daughter and that the master of breakthroughs is their um, covering, their provider. So, Father, we just thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you that because of you in us, Jesus, we are positioning ourselves to bring heaven to earth. We thank you that, Jesus, you are the master of breakthroughs. You are the one. It is of you, through you, unto you. You are the one, not by works of righteousness, by your blood alone. And we step right into that truth. We say yes and amen to the many, many, many places that we have 
that the enemy wants to call out to us as brick walls, as places to stop when we're not supposed to stop, as places that are, that are trying to cause fear to rise up in our heart. And we just look at it and we say, thank you, Jesus, that you are the master of breakthroughs. You are going to cause this to fall. You, because of your name, because I am yours, in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, good. All right. All right, we're good on that, right? Okay. We're good. I actually was looking at this thing over here, and I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. That wall right there, it's got a lot of words on it. Sometimes we're hearing a lot of words. You know what we need to do? Because some of them, maybe, maybe we need to listen. At the end of the day, you know what we need to do is write Jesus' name all over everything we're hearing. Everything we're hearing. Just write his name on it, right? Okay. All right. Get those on. Get those on. Okay. All right. Okay. So here's what's cool about this. I want to tell you. Um, <laughs> so we're going to do anniversaries. So everyone who has an anniversary in the month of May, you love birds, go ahead and stand up because we want to bless you. No. Okay, what's cool about, well, if you ask me, what's cool about this word is that I actually, because sometimes I do this, I actually thought I was supposed to do this, what I'm doing right now, last month. So I had, so God spoke to me, and I wrote it all down in my handed any little notes, in my handed any little phone, and, um, and then I went to all the meetings, and then was like, oh, I don't have it today. <laughs> I'm in May, so... I was like, okay, well, I'll just hold on to it. I wasn't even thinking that this month is my anniversary month. So I'm standing, too. My husband and I will be married 26 years this year. So we're super, super excited. So I get to actually bless us, which is really cool. God's done this one other time before, and it was kind of funny. It just makes me laugh. I think it's funny. Okay, so here's what he said to me, like over a month ago for you guys, for us. For us, for all of us. He said, um, okay, because let me, let me back up. Um, you know, it's, it's so trendy right now, the footprint of humanity, right? Oh, don't leave a footprint. Ah, you left a footprint. It's like scary. It's like, oh, I dropped trash. Pick it up, you know, right? So there's this big, like, footprint, footprint. Let's try not to, you know, act like we live here. Sorry. I mean, if you, it's okay. I'm not, I'm, I'm joking. Okay. Um, <laughs> so he said to me this, um, he said, leave a footprint. And he said, your love for each other powerfully impacts the generational footprint and the footprint of spiritual heritage in your lineage. Mm. For real. I'm going to, I'm going to say it again. So he said, your love for each other powerfully impacts the generational footprint and the footprint of spiritual heritage in your lineage. This is why we have to keep fighting for each other. This is why we don't give up. This is why we will surround ourselves with a body, whether it's this one or another one. You surround yourself with a body who's going to call you up in the power of the Lord because he is the one who designed it. He's the one who did this, who made this come together this way. So he is not going to leave you just to flop around aimlessly and not know what to do, when, or how. He's going to cover you. Okay, that's not in my notes, so hold on. I got it. I really got to get to it. Um, <clears throat> leave footprint, lineage. Okay, here's the, here's, okay, so what I want to tie it to really is the gospel, okay? Um, there is faith and love that springs up from hope, what the word of God says in Colossians 1. There is faith and love that actually spring out of hope that is stored up for you in heaven. And it comes from hearing the true message of the gospel. So again, let the renewal, or let there be a renewal of the power of the gospel in your home and over your lives as couples. Like, you know, if you've been walking with the Lord for a long time, let's reset for the gospel. Let's, let's remember again 
that he is the one, right? The good news. It's what it's all about, for real. So let's just enter into the power of the gospel. Let's leave a footprint because the gospel has come and made a difference in our lives as individuals and in our lives as couples. Because it's going to do something very, very mighty. Uh, let the light, let, let it be, wait, 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 okay, the footprint, yeah. And be the life of the gospel in your relationship. So, okay, let's pray. I'm going to do it while you're walking because I'm so bad at just taking too much time. Father, thank you so much. Thank you for covering us well. Thank you for not leaving us to our own ever. You don't ever. You provide because you're a good daddy. You provide so well. Let our footprint, Father God, be the love of the gospel that's in our heart. God, thank you so much for what we are impacting generationally. Thank you so much for what we're impacting. We say, yes, this is going to be good fruit and good seed for generations to come. In the name of Jesus, amen.